Now we're just gonna talk about locking the triangle a little bit. A little bit of details here, okay? So uh, the first thing you wanna do whenever you lock a triangle, guys, is you wanna try to counter the, the two main defenses that they're gonna do. Um, the first one they're probably gonna do is they're gonna try to uh, stack you. So they can try to like uh, bring your knees over your chest like this. So if he walks forward like that, he can start to stack you. And this can be really difficult to deal with uh, because it makes it hard for you to lock your triangle. And then uh, another thing they can do is they can reach their arm across like this and they'll start to turn that corner. And if my triangle isn't locked yet, it can put a lot of stress and it could cause the triangle to open up, okay? So the first thing I do when, whenever I lock a triangle on somebody is I try to counter these two things by blocking his bicep just with a C grip like this. And then as he walks my knees to my chest, I press my head into the floor and I think about lifting my shoulders and, and body off the ground and hanging it on him. Uh, sort of like I'm creating, turning myself into like a bobsled for him. See how, see how I start to slide? And then I'll start to shoulder walk out from under him. So I take steps with my shoulders until he falls like that. That's the first thing I'm thinking about doing as soon as I lock because you don't want to lose it right away, okay? W once he's kind of fallen and he's like, he's in the triangle, now he's just kind of using his posture and things like that, um, I'll start to hang on the crown of the head. So I'll reach up, control the very top of his head, and I start to pull his head down to me from, from the end of his head, not the base of his neck like this or on the collar because he's really strong here. So I need to get the crown of his head and I start to break his posture down and then I'll lock my top leg a little bit more over like this. So now his head is, is trapped down. It's a little bit easier to keep his head down, okay? So there's a difference between this catch position where my top leg is going, it's almost like going along his back. He's still kind of caught in the triangle, but he's, his posture isn't broken versus me breaking the crown of his head and then locking this a little, it's not a full triangle because his shoulder's still in, but it, it breaks his posture a little bit more and it's gonna allow me to deal with other things and then finally finish the triangle, okay? So the next thing I do is I break the crown of his head, boom. Lock a little bit more, as much as I can. I don't have to lock the full triangle, it's gonna be really hard because his shoulder's in but I can get it a little bit more control over his posture, okay? The second thing I do is I deal with this arm, okay? And right now, I wanna bring it from this side to this side because it, it, on this side, the space between his delts right here and his carotid artery on his neck is too big to, to choke him. I'm gonna need a lot of power, uh, so I wanna bring that a little bit closer. But my own torso is kind of in the way. You see the point of his elbows on this side of my, my torso? So I'm gonna bridge my hips as high as I can and I'm gonna double up uh, on his uh, arm. So I'm gonna control his wrist and I'm gonna control his elbow and I'm gonna lift it and I'm gonna pass it with my arm locked and then I bring my hips back down, pulling my knees to my chest and my torso is now helping me. It's blocking him from bringing it to the other side. Okay, so now I've got his delt really close to his shoulder. Now I can finish my triangle. Okay, now what I wanna do is control my shin, open my triangle, change my hips, and I'm, look how I'm pulling my leg a little bit more perpendicular across his neck. And this is the final detail right here. When I go to relock the triangle, I'm gonna loosen it for, for Professor Rolando, but I want this part of my thigh right here, the inside where this seam is, see the seam right here? I want it to touch just below his delt. I want it to go right here, like that. See, my knee kind of touches head like this, see? So right now it's, it's kind of like below his shoulder, Look, see that? So it's like it's pushing right here, like that. Not down here and not over his shoulder. I bring it all the way up here and I push from here. It, it's kind of the same as a head and arm choke, you know? You wanna be pushing the arm across so that delt crowds the carotid right here. That's what we're looking for, okay? So I'm here, break the crown of the head. Lift my hips, start to push his elbow out, use my body, bring his arm down. And now I'm looking to lock this seam from here. See, you can see the seam is touching his ribs to right under his Moya brand uh, logo right here. It's gonna go right here, look. Right there, that's where I want it. This is a super tight triangle. There's, not, there's no path to escape from here unless maybe he throws his legs across, but you can feel that coming a mile away. He's gonna start sitting up. 
And if he starts standing like that, you can just boom, take the arm, or you can start pulling the head, or you can just have your hands ready to fan out like this, okay? So, boom, I just locked the triangle. If he starts to stack me, I'm framing, C-gripping, I'm pressing my head on the ground and I'm shoulder walking, bam. Now I immediately go to the crown of his head. It's gonna be easier to get the crown of his head after you shoulder walk and he collapses. Like if you notice, he'll start shoulder walking, like sledding me along the mat. And as I beat him and I load my weight in his shoulders, he'll collapse. And then I grab the top of his head. And now if he tries to posture here, he's gonna sit up, but his head isn't gonna follow. And then I can lock one, two, kind of like a you know, half triangle right here, okay? Now I bridge my hips. I start two on one this arm. I like to take it away from my hip, like prop under it. And then I start to move my body and I lock my arm straight so that I can use leverage to bring it to the other side. And now I'm thinking about trapping this shoulder right here. Let's rotate a little bit. So I like to grab my shin, make that angle. See, I'm closing up over that. Your knee should go to his head. And then I lock my triangle. Now I have an easy triangle. I can just uh, lift my hips, pull the head down. I can underhook his arm. I can go for a very easy arm bar since his elbow's isolated. Or I can even start to underhook his leg right here. All these are very good finishes. Once we get to the point where we've defended the stack and the, the big turn, and we pull his, the crown of his head down as far as we can, and, and we relock right here. So he doesn't know when I'm, when I'm unlocking my legs. I'm keeping this part of my legs, my knees and my femurs, they're squeezing in the whole time. So whether I have my legs locked or unlocked, he doesn't really, he can't see back there, he doesn't know, okay? So I don't want you guys to open your legs and try to relock. Always maintain this squeeze whenever you're working in a triangle or even in closed guard. This, this is, uh, uh, adduction is always happening. This squeezing of my knees is always happening. So I pull his head down, I unlock my legs, but th this pressure doesn't change and then I lock as much as I can, okay? The second thing is, once I drag the arm across, um, I want you guys to pay close attention to the angle of my knee to my foot, okay? So right now, it's kind of at a diagonal going across his back. Uh, ideally, the best triangle I want is for my angle to be uh, perpendicular to his spine. So his spine is running straight up and down. I want that angle to be like that, you see? And I can do that two ways. I can grab my foot and I can pull it there if I'm super flexible and it'll always wanna kinda like, boing, like bounce back out, <laughs> you know what I mean? You can do that. If you're super flexible, guys that are flexible will just pull their foot in that ideal position and lock their triangle and that's fine. Um, if you can't do that, if you're not that flexible like, like most people, um, you, wanna <laughs> you wanna grab this <laughs> and you wanna open your triangle kind of and, and use this foot right here to angle yourself. So right now I'm pushing off a, a Professor Rolando's hip, and I'm angling myself, and you see, as I angle, the angle of my top leg changes, okay? So that's another way you can do it, all right? Uh, the last thing I wanna say is, once you guys get to this ideal position, don't think about putting this behind your knee. Don't think about, like, I gotta get that, you know? What I want you to think about is, is closing his head and his arm together with your thigh. So I want you to think about this right here, I want you to think about that. So I bring my thigh up, I put the seam along his tricep, my knee touches his head, I can't see the shoulder, and then I lock it as close to that as I can. Okay, you see, there, there's a lot of space here. If we rotate, there's a lot of space here. Okay, but the, the core, the choking part of the triangle is perfect, like this, this up here is perfect. So now once I have this locked, all I have to do is grab my foot and start to pull my foot towards me and take another bite with my leg, bam. And now I have the perfect triangle, okay? A lot of people think like, oh, I'm here, I gotta get my, my uh, instep behind my knee, but that's where all the problem arises. This is the last thing you do. The first thing you do is you make that angle with your top leg, you close against their head, and then you lock wherever you can. And now I can grab my shin, pull it in and lock, okay? So think about this first, sorry. <laughs> good. Think about this first. Lock and then pull it in, okay? Um, the last thing I would say is once you do lock, don't have your legs open like this. You always want to 
turn this. So pay attention to this leg. Once I lock this triangle, I'm doing like that. You see, I'm pointing my feet this way here. And I can do that even by underhooking. You see, I'm kind of winging out like this. And it's going to actually push his shoulder into his neck and it's going to make your triangle a little bit tighter. Okay? <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.